How's it going, Avery? How are you, man? Yeah. I'm calling from Syracuse, New York, and upstate. How are you? Syracuse, Syracuse man. I'm, I'm relaxing tonight, man. I'm relaxing. <laughs> I've been relaxing for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. So I'm sorry to hear about the injury. I just want to let you know that, you know, things happen. You're going to get stronger through this. It's just a freak thing. And you're going to come back stronger than ever next year, no doubt in my mind. Yeah. Um, when you when you went down, my, I think my heart sank, and everybody, all Jets fans across the world, my like heart sank after that. We know how big of a part you are to this team, but I think I think the team will rally around you. And, yeah. And uh, I, I big things are going to happen next year, man. I'm you know I'm pumped for you for oh, next yeah, year. Oh yeah, man. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Now I definitely feel like uh, it's going to. I feel like I mean it happens for a reason, man. I feel like. Um, exactly. Everything does happen for a reason. Yeah. And uh, in life, there's obstacles you got to go through every single day. And exactly. um, I, I, you're going to push through it. And, you know, things are only going to go up from here. Exactly. I just want to let you know all, all the fans are behind you 100%. And we got that. your back, man. We got I your back. It, man. That's, hey, that's love right there. Thanks hey, a lot. Uh, so go to my question. I don't want to hold up too long because I know a lot of other fans that want to talk with you as well. But my question really was, where do you – Going through an injury like this um, is challenging. It's difficult. And as you see the news we got last night with Andrew Luck, um, wh what's the biggest, I guess, what is the, where do you get your drive from? And, and, and where does that motivation come from to want to get better and want to get to that level that you you were on before and maybe even better next season? Um, I mean, just to, I mean, it's it just something inside, man. You know, I want to be great. Um, you know, I really was working hard with the camp and I was, was really having a really good camp and I was really just locked in. So um, I yeah. feel like yeah. the motivation now is just to, to prove to everybody and myself as well, you know, that that, I'm, that I can be uh, the same player that I was and even better, you know, continue to get better. And, exactly. like, you know, mentally I can, uh, I can do it and I just have to make sure I'm doing everything right. So. Um, just, just, uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be about Avery Lynch in this year. That's what it's going to have to be about. Exactly. Exactly. Just, um, just kind of cut out a lot of stuff and just make sure that I'm uh, focused and locked in on, on what I have to do. I appreciate it. Keep your head up, man. And uh, who? Yeah. Another. It was a two part question. <laughs> who? Who is the biggest influence on in you in your life, man? I, I saw you got your degree from Kentucky, and I really appreciated that. And uh, your big influence. Who who is your biggest uh, in your life? Um, I say my dad. My dad, man. He's, dad? He, yeah, he's the biggest influence, man. I, That's he, awesome. Uh, he helps me with a lot of decisions, a lot of decisions. So he's the, he's he's the he's the ring leader. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that, man. Yeah, man. I appreciate the love, bro. For real. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> Hey, uh, Justin, <laughs> Justin, so, you know, asking the question lately, right, and, and showing him a lot of love, a lot of support, which is awesome. What was going through your head when you saw uh, the injury? Like? I, as, a, as a diehard Jets fan, it, it was crushing. You know, as soon as, as, soon as I saw it, you know, I, I, knew it, I knew it didn't look good. And that no one was really talking about it, um, you know, the commentators. Nobody even really knew, I think, till after the game. And then, you know, when we got the news after the game that he was going to, going in for an MRI the next day, you know, it didn't look good. But uh, crushed, you know what? He, he was playing really well. Um, I was watching that game. He had a – I think he had two sacks on Matt Ryan, and he was coming in quick. And him and CJ were gelling um, big time. And uh, I know Avery was the quarterback of that defense last season. And uh, I knew he was really – looking to make that next step with CJ in the middle. And uh, he was going to have a dominant season without a doubt. But like it's you know, everything happens for a reason, like you said, and sky's the limit from here. Couldn't have said it any better. The sky's the limit and coming back stronger is, uh, is the best thing. Avery, can you tell us maybe what your dad said to you? You know, he's the ringleader, right? He would have had some words of wisdom for you uh, when it happened. Um. Well, he, uh, he tried to calm me down. And he was like, well... Maybe it's not it's not bad. It's just uh, you know, just bruised. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I mean, he just told me that you know, just to keep my head up and you know, just, just you gotta just take look at the positives, you know, positive things. You know, I get a year of rest in my body, and you know, it's, it's you know, added added some years to my career. So that's some things that he said to me. So um, 
you know, just kind of put things into perspective. And, you know, he was saying, you know, you've had a good career so far, the first injury, you know, so just just be thankful, it's, you know, it's, it's, you know, your first one and hopefully it's your last. But he's just trying to make me, you know, make me feel better. It helped a little bit. I crashed again. He definitely helped out a lot. And again, you know, the love, the love and the support, it's, uh, that's what counts, right? That's the biggest yeah, exactly. thing. So. Exactly. 100%. Well, Justin, thank you for that. Uh, no and, problem. Uh, thanks again for holding on tight. Absolutely.